Hi, everyone, and welcome to this week's Tuesday Taiki Talk. Today, we are going to be talking about one of my most favorite um, favorite topics, LinkedIn. Just coincidence, it's live streaming on LinkedIn. Uh, but first, let me tell those who are new to our audience, first of all, welcome. This is Tuesday Taiki Talks with Lauren Young Durbin. That's me. I'm a career transition coach, and I help women who are in the mid-career trying to move into careers that they love. Um, I also coach LinkedIn, uh, which is an obsession of mine. I love it, I love, love it. So every Tuesday, I have uh, myself or a guest. Next week, we're going to have a guest, um, but we're going to have a, a talk about various issues surrounding career, life, generally coaching, that kind of thing. Finances is a popular one. Um, so every week I come on here on Tuesdays around noon and we'll have this conversation for about 20, 30 minutes. So this week, uh, oh, before I get to that, I want to announce my first live grouping group coaching and it's going to be on LinkedIn and how to help you figure out how to most effectively and efficiently use LinkedIn to further your career goals and to establish your professional brand. So get it started, let's kick off with this week's topic, why you need a great LinkedIn profile, why you need to be on LinkedIn in the first place. Um, so let's get to it. Usually people I talk to, they're of, two different ways. Either they're like, I'm on LinkedIn. I don't really know how to use it. I don't know. I, so I just have it up there because I'm supposed to have it up there. By another camp, there are people who are like, I'm on LinkedIn. That's it. Like, I haven't even tried to add people. I don't really know how to, how do I add people? Where do I find people at? I don't know. I just took my resume and plopped it on LinkedIn. And um, for both of those people, I'm like, okay, let, well, let me just take a look at your LinkedIn and let's see what we can do to improve it. So the thing is, LinkedIn, so many tools in LinkedIn, so, 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 so many tools. And um, just so you know, I'm not an affiliate of LinkedIn. I don't get paid from LinkedIn or any of this stuff. So this is just for my own experience and what I teach people. So great thing about LinkedIn is that it has so many tools you can use for for a variety of reasons. Uh, if you are in, you're, you're currently employed, you want to stay in the company or that position in the field, but want to rise up, you want to become a thought leader, LinkedIn can help you establish that reputation as a thought leader. If you would like to change jobs, you can use the job search function to look for positions, to reach out to recruiters, to let recruiters know that you're open to hire. If you just I'm like, I just want to change careers completely. You can make it so that your profile reflects that pivot, that change, and you can connect to people in the field who already do, who already do that kind of work. You can also join groups to learn more about it, to network within the groups. LinkedIn is excellent for the introverts in the world. Like me, I'm an introvert. That's me. <laughs> so... Number one reason why you should be on LinkedIn is that it helps establish a professional online presence and help amplify your personal and professional brand. Um, just being on there isn't good enough. It's kind of like if you're just like standing outside of the company you want to work for and just standing there, it's kind of like, okay, <laughs> it doesn't do anything. So in order to really get the maximum benefit out of LinkedIn, you got to work it. So and then the first thing you gotta do is establish your professional brand. And we go into, I had a guest last week, Therese Huff, uh, who is a, a personal branding coach. And we talked uh, quite a bit about professional, professional and personal branding. So you can go back and watch last week's Psyche Talk if you want to know more about that. So the thing about LinkedIn is that it's basically a digital resume slash you know, business card slash placard uh, video, because you can put videos on LinkedIn too. <laughs> but um, the great thing about it is like the resume, you really shouldn't have more than two pages. Um, 
depending on how much experience you have, maybe you should only have one. But with LinkedIn, you have so much more space, not only to put more things, but to be a little bit more creative and to show more of your personality. Uh, although those things should be shared in your resume, LinkedIn allows you to play around a little bit more. The other thing with LinkedIn is that it helps build your professional network. Oh my goodness. I, I am always fascinated about like, all the people that I've encountered, that I've met, that I've spoken with. And it's not just clients or potential clients, um, other coaches, other just people of all walks of life. And it's so easy to network with those people and to reach out. Like it, With LinkedIn, you have an international reach and that's really hard to do. And everyone's in the same place to do the same thing, which is to build a brand, build their network, build their reputation. So it's really great because we're all in LinkedIn for a number of different things. But in order to make that work, you have to engage with people, you know, comment on their things and and um, post things yourself. So you want to um, make sure that you use that extra space to really highlight things that you don't really necessarily have room on your resume for. Like, generally speaking, you don't really need to have your hobbies on, on your resume, but you can do that on LinkedIn um, because obviously that's prime real estate. Every single millimeter on your, on your resume is prime real estate. So you don't really want to flex around with that and put hobbies, but you can put that on LinkedIn. It can serve as a connector to someone else who um, you want to engage or may want to engage you because they're like, oh, yeah, I do marathon running too. Uh, I'm sure there's a marathon running group on LinkedIn. There's groups for everything. So going back to different sorts of people, different groups of people who use LinkedIn, one of the big reasons why people use LinkedIn is for job searching. And it is a phenomenal source of that. And I I personally have found positions. I've had people approach me about positions. So it's so important to learn how to use a job effectively, learn how to use that job um, search function, the different tools that are in there. So LinkedIn, for most people, it's an untapped tool. Anyway, I love alliteration. That's why I like, huh. Um, it's an untapped tool that you want to tap into. Like there are tons and tons and tons, thousands and thousands of dollars of jobs. And you can narrow it down to like, I want a remote job. And so that opens up, I guess the world really, um, mostly it's usually the US, but most of the, the world, I want to make this amount of money. I want this level. So you can really narrow things down um, a lot easier than if like, you're just like on Indeed or whatever. Because I've done Indeed, I'm familiar with that too. Uh, it also helps you once you really start looking for jobs and if you are interested in changing fields and you're interested in working for a particular company, you can also do research on the company and see if you have any connections there. Remember, build your network because when you build your network, it shows like, oh, maybe you have connections at this company. Maybe you went to the same school. You know, there's someone who works here and might be able to give you some insights. But most companies, a lot of companies, they have LinkedIn pages and they post news and that kind of thing. So you can kind of keep, you can follow them and keep up with what's going on in their world. So you can write a more informed cover letter or when you get that interview, uh, you can go ahead and um, be able to use that information that you found on LinkedIn and other sources to really make an impact and a an imp good impression on those who are interviewing you. Another good thing is that I love about LinkedIn is that it lets you share your knowledge and it can help you be a thought leader. And you may not wanna be a thought leader. What's a thought leader? A thought leader is the person that people think of when they're like, oh, um, I want to know more about career change. I want to learn more about how to effectively use LinkedIn to change my career. 
or to change my current career narrative to something else to pivot. Um, that's me. I'm a thought leader. Hello. So, uh, so it doesn't have to be a matter of you have to always be out in front. You have to do this. You have to do that. But it really helps you build credibility because people can see that you're not a flash in the pan. Like you have thoughts about this. Uh, you can start out by commenting on other people's content. You know, if you see a newspaper, oh, not a newspaper, you know, a news article or a blog post or a tweet or any number of things that you find interesting, you can post it, repost it on on LinkedIn and make a comment about it and share that information with other people. You can actually just like other websites, you can repost things that you find interesting so you can show it to people who are in your network. So it just kind of builds your credibility. When you build your credibility and trust, you build the not only the size of your network, but the strength of your network. And that's so important. And so that's the whole point of LinkedIn is really to make the world like a smaller place. And if so, you can do what you want to do and use this tool to do it. Uh, and finally, for those who are looking for a job, it helps enhance and increase your visibility to recruiters and hiring managers because they see like, oh, okay, this person knows what they're talking about. They've been talking about this for a while. They have opinions about this. So don't be surprised when you go into, if you go into the interview and they ask you about something that you posted or you wrote on LinkedIn because they they they've seen what you're written. They're like, okay, this person knows what they're talking about. Let let's see, you know, I found it interesting. Let's let's I want to talk about that more. So it's a really good way to enhance your visibility and also strengthen your credibility out in the world uh, in a much more controlled way that you get to control. And also in a on a bigger venue because again, it's international. Um so those are the really big reasons why LinkedIn is so underrated and it's such an effective tool for your career development, for your career pivot, uh, to build your professional brand. It's a huge toolbox. And what I found is that not enough of people know how to effectively and efficiently using it to use it. So that's why I'm having a, I'm holding a um, a live group coaching. It starts at the end of this month on June Thursday, June 29th. I'll be putting out. You'll start seeing more information about it. You can sign up for it. Um, I'm super super excited about this because again, I love LinkedIn and I love showing people how to effectively use it, uh, so they can make decisions about what they can be in the driver's seat of their careers and. They can make moves when they want to make moves, and those moves will be easier because they have a bigger, stronger network through their work on LinkedIn and their engagement on LinkedIn. So I'll be having that course. You'll be hearing more about it. Just sign up for it. Uh, it's only one forty nine. Uh, it's three sessions, one forty nine. If you want, you can have me. Hello. Uh, <laughs> rewrite your LinkedIn profile for you. That's something you can add on if that's um, if you don't really want to do it yourself. And you're like, look, she's an expert. She's a certified professional resume writer. She's a certified digital career specialist. I'm going to let her do it. And I'll just chill and do what I need to do for my job or at my. So again, I'll, you'll be seeing, hearing and seeing more about that. It's 149. It's three sessions. And in those three sessions, you'll learn how to write a compelling profile. You'll learn how to network like a pro. And you'll learn how to do an effective job search. Um, next week, we have a guest that I am super excited about. Um, her name is, is oh, sorry. My, oh, sorry. <laughs> Karen, Karen Nesby will be joining me to talk about her pivoting within the tech field. And I know a lot of people are really interested in that, particularly those in the tech field who are looking to make a pivot from what they're doing now. So join Karen and I next Tuesday at noon, Easter Standard Time, when we'll talk about uh, 
for your pivoting within the tech industry. Alrighty, I'll see you guys later. Bye.